It's been a busy few months at Polo Reef, and it's only going to get busier. If you haven't had a chance to see what Polo Reef has been up to, take a look at some of our past videos in the description below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. In between all the mayhem, Andrew had a moment to do what he loves most, educate. 40 students from Central Campus's Marine Biology Program traveled all the way from Central Iowa to visit Polo Reef. Andrew and the team had a fun day planned for them. This is amazing. There's so many types of fish. <laughs> My name is Dr. Gregory Berard, and we're from Des Moines, Iowa, at Central Campus High School, where we have aquarium science and marine biology classes. And we're here on a week-long trip to give students all behind me an experience to do anything marine biology related, because they all want to do something in this career. And this is one of our stops along the way to inspire them and get them passionate about the oceans. After the students settled in, they had a special presentation ready for Andrew and the polo team. Social media, guys. <laughs> okay, Olivia, you're up. Uh, I'm Olivia Boyle, and at the Central Campus Lab, it's student run. And I just wanted to share my favorite thing about our program, which is just the opportunity to work with sea life in a landlocked state. My name is Ian. Yep. Um, I'm a lab assistant, so this was my project over the first semester of school. It's difficult for them to swim quickly. They're not very aerodynamic. Yep, they just sort of weeble wobble. They're box fish. <laughs> That is mine. I just wanted to like talk about the marine biology right. program. How like we, Iowa is a landlocked state. Yep. They're um, hatchlings. We feed them brine, and then live brine, baby brine. Live brine. Cuttlefish can change the color and texture of their skin. I also like bird grass. It's my favorite fish. They're just funny guys, <laughs> <laughs> and that's really about it. After everyone was fueled up, it was time for the world famous polo tour. We're gonna do a tour of the polo labs. In the back, we're going to see some of the areas of filtration. We're going to see the lab holding systems. Uh, we'll see where we inspect the corals for a pest and some very rare fish. We'll see them in the back. That's the best. It's a lot of water. Can I take that home with me? Like, I oh feel gosh, like, no. like we could just put it in a coffee cup. I'm so serious. <laughs> temporary holding tank. It'll probably be torn down in a couple weeks. I have Once scientists make me strong of fluoride. I'm making a test with it. Maybe like a mimic octopus or something like that. Uh, so we'll use epoxy. Okay. Yeah, mostly or super glue gel. Uh, killing off flatworms and bugs. Okay. We have okay. to be medicated. It's like a fresh French angel. Yeah. They want to draw my... Day. People that have not seen the pond yet, let's stand over here. After the tours, Andrew had one last surprise up his sleeve. He can't leave Polo without feeding the fish. I have to food in, feed in time. Oh, yeah, right, right, right. Keep the noise down. If you listen carefully, you will hear the fish snap and eat in the water. You hear him? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> And you got some nori that they're gonna eat. So oh, they're just getting vegetable and meat all at once. Polo Reef is all about educating. Andrew understands the importance of getting the next generation excited about aquariums. It seems like the class today might have learned a little something. It's amazing. Oh my gosh. The aquascaping is so beautiful. Different variety of fish. It's this is such a cool place. The cowfish. Oh my gosh. It's it's so cute. Amazing. We've seen all of their tanks and the back lab. We learned how they use certain medications and parts per billion supplements in the water. I think there's a lot of stuff that we can start implementing into our lab and take away from this. Uh, the way you guys like your, ours are, even some of the other public aquariums that we visited, like your guys, is, the way you have things set up is just crazy. It's nice to see someone who cares so much and the kids also care and so it's really neat to see like-minded people coming together and talking about something like this. What a busy day at Polo Reef. From the presentations to the tours and even the fish feeding, Andrew and the team had a blast, 
But the bigger question is I wonder if the kids enjoyed it. One, two, three. Party! I'd say they did. Back to you, Andrew. We had 40 marine biology students from the school in Iowa. They came to Polar Reef to check out the reef tanks and the whole setup. And now they are off to uh, the Long Island Aquarium and Joe Ayulo's system, and they'll have a great time there. Uh, they, some of them study marine science and some, some marine biology and some both. But these are our future Aquarius. <laughs> Thank you again. Pleasure. Is... Bye, guys. That was good, Andrew. You did it.